Hello, uh, I am Dr. Arun Veeram Reddy, Consultant Cardiac Surgeon at Manipal Hospital, Whitefield, Bangalore. We predominantly uh, deal with uh, adult cardiac surgery. Uh, the most common uh, adult cardiac surgeries uh, that are required and what we do here are uh, valve surgeries and uh, surgeries for uh, bypass of blocked coronary arteries. So that's called uh, coronary artery bypass surgery. It is common uh, for most hospitals to be uh, doing valve surgeries and uh, bypass surgeries and it is pretty standardized and uh, so that is what we do here but there's something uh, else that we do which is called minimal invasive cardiac surgery usually most cardiac surgery uh, since its inception has been through a cut in the center of the uh, chest uh, almost 20 centimeters uh, splitting the bone and then accessing the heart to uh, proceed with the surgery we do something called minimal invasive surgery depending on the type of uh, surgery that is required whether it is for uh, aortic valve, mitral valve uh, so different places the cuts are placed most of the time it will be one and a half to two inches incisions through which we ca carry out the same surgery what happens inside is the same just that the axis uh, is uh, smaller and so less traumatic there is no bones that are cut when we do minimal invasive cardiac surgery if we generally take the uh, data according to hospitals. Uh, most hospitals out of 100 cases that require uh, cardiac surgery, almost 99 uh, will be done through a big incision right down the center of the chest because it's a proven optimal way of doing things. But here, as long as we are able to achieve the same result inside, uh, we do all valve surgeries and bypass surgeries through minimal invasive cardiac surgery which is hardly one and a half to two inches in length. The importance of this is that the recovery is much faster. When we see a patient who has gone back after open cardiac surgery, uh, we see that it takes two weeks for them to be really confident to uh, be able to proceed with their daily activities. Although their heart is fine and uh, they are uh, moving about and doing their daily activities, the confidence and the uh, pain-free nature makes them limited for that period of time, sometimes even uh, a month or a month and a half. The idea of doing cardiac surgery is not uh, to tide over this few months, uh, this few weeks. It is for longer term benefit, but would it not be better if we can achieve the same result and say by the third or fourth day patient is walking around without looking like he has undergone a cardiac surgery. So this is what we are able to do with minimally invasive cardiac surgery where because the incisions are smaller, no bones are cut, there is no big spreading of the ribs. Uh, the recovery is much faster. The surgery has to be optimal. It has to be the same result as open. But then if we can do it by a smaller incision, it is something that anybody would prefer. So we are happy to say that we are among the few centers that do a lot of cases through minimal invasive cardiac surgery. So if there is uh, any doubt regarding this, you can get in touch with us. Uh, even if you have undergone uh, the diagnostic workup in some other units, if you feel like uh, you should evaluate whether this can this surgery that you need uh, can be done by minimal invasive cardiac surgery. You can come to us once we can explain and evaluate. Mm, and it is not for all cardiac surgeries. Most of them we are able to do. So if we can give you that option and you are happy to take it, it's something that uh, we would like to do and you will also benefit.